Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the NASCAR Air Jordan Cup Series. This is race number three out of the 15 races this season. We are here at Atlanta Motor Speedway for the Folt of Honor Quick Trip 500. Now let's take a look at the drivers to watch out for today. Starting on the pole is the number 12 of Ryan Blaney. He, has, he said he has a very great fast car. Let's see what he can do in that number 12. Also, we have the two at Keselowski. He's another one of those favorites. We need to keep an eye out for him. Then we have Kyle Busch and Martin Truex Jr. These two really love this track. Let's see what they can do in, their, in the Gibbs cars. So yeah, those are all the drivers to watch out for today. Now, let's, now let's take a look at your starting lineup for the Folds of Honor Quick Trip 500. Man, that's going to be a fun one. On the pole is Ryan Blaney. Alongside him is Kyle Larson in the 5 car. Then, it's Brad Keselowski and Kevin Harvick. Then, we have Kurt Busch and Joey Logano. Then we got Denny Hamlin and Martin Truex Jr. Then next up we have Kyle Busch and Chase Elliott. And then we got William Byron and Chris Buescher. Then we got Eric Almirola and Bubba Wallace. And then we got the 20 of Christopher Bell and the 48 of Alex Bowman. Then we got Ryan Newman and Tyler Reddick. Then we got Ross Chastain and Matt DiBenedetto. And then we got Ryan Priest, who's only going to be running a few races for the season, running, running half the season. Then Austin Dillon. Then it's Michael McDowell and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Then it's then it's teammates of Cole Custer and Chase Briscoe. Then it's Eric Jones in the 43 and Corey LaJoy in the 7. Then it's Daniel Suarez and Anthony Alfredo rounds out the field. So now let's take a look at the race format before we begin. Payroad speed 45 miles an hour. There's going to be 10 laps around this 1.5 mile track. The next race we go to will be Texas Motor Speedway. It will be a track that will just likely be like this. So, who knows? Maybe this will be, there to be three quad oval tracks for the regular season. So now, these drivers are going to have what it takes. We're going to be racing the 550 horsepower package here. As they're coming to the start finish line, green flag. Blaney off to a good start. Here comes Kurt Busch with a run on the bottom. Kurt Busch will take the lead. And the car on the wall already, Austin Dillon. Austin Dillon hard into the outside wall. Caution is out. We haven't made it to the start finish line yet. So we can see Austin Dillon heavy damage to the number three. He was able to make it back to Pit Road, but his car said he, but his car was he said his car was KO'd and he is done for the day. Let's take a look what happened. Ooh, it looks like I don't know if Austin Dillon came up on the 47 or the 47 hooked the 40. 47 hooked the three and that just turned the three into the wall. But anyways, Austin Dillon's out of this race. We will restart with seven laps remaining in the Folds of Honor Quick Trip 500. Kurt Busch, Brad Keselowski on the front row. Let's try it again. Green flag. Kurt Busch off to a great start. He's going to lead them down the back straightaway. Here comes Brian Blaney. Oh, the Penske teammates are going to split Kurt Busch. And now look at Kyle Busch and Kevin Harvick making up there. This will also be the dash for the halfway bonus. And now, Logano's going to put the back bumper. Blaney in the wall. This is going to allow Joey Logano to get the halfway bonus. Oh, Blaney with major damage. He's going to have to come to pit road. I'm sure Blaney's race is over. Yep, there he goes. He's coming down to pit road. Four more laps to go here at Atlanta. Joey Logano, Keselowski, and Harvick, the top three. Can anyone chase down Joey Logano? He has one of the fastest cars. Three to go. Blaney's now just about to head, head off a of pit road. Oh, and look at this. He blocks his teammate, Logano. This is going to allow Kurt Busch to take the lead. Unbelievable. Blaney must not be happy with Logano. Two more laps to go here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. But look at Martin Truex Jr. He's going to go down to the inside. He takes the lead. Truex, he won the 500 a few races ago. Here we go. One more lap to go. Here comes Chase Elliott. He's trying to steal it away. Down the back straightaway, here comes Kyle Busch on the and he door slams the nine. Chase Elliott around, big crash behind them, and Kyle Busch is going to win at Atlanta. 
My goodness. Where in the world did the 18 come from? He door slammed the 9 of Elliott and that just caused a big wreck. We have drivers such as Eric Almirola, Brad Keselowski, Kyle Larson, Martin Truex, Kurt Busch, Chase Elliott. Major implications, playoff implications to these drivers that were below the cut line heading into this race. Let's take a look at the replay of the last lap. But here comes Chase Elliott in the bottom. And that and that run by the 18, I think he got was was I think that run was from the four Harvick. And you can see he door slammed the nine, and then it was just on from there. The big wreck happens. And so Kyle Bush gets his first win of the season. And oh boy, you guys can hear the booze in the background. Fans are really not happy with Kyle Bush winning here at Atlanta today. So yeah, anyways, I'm going to tell you guys the top 10 and I'll show you the rest of the results. Kevin Harvick will finish 2nd, Joey Logano 3rd, Chris Buescher 4th, then we have Alex Bowman 5th, Christopher Bell 6th, Bubba Wallace 7th, Michael McDowell 8th, Ricky Stenhouse 9th, and rounding out the top 10 is Tyler Reddick. And here are the rest of, of the results on the screen. So there you have it. Kyle Busch gets his first win of the season. And he is your new points leader. I can tell you that. But now, that is it from Atlanta. The next race will be at Texas Motor Speedway for the O'Reilly Auto Parts 500. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the point standings after today's race.